Alison from Silicon Bullet here with another bookkeeping tip. I'm in a much quieter place in the forest today compared to yesterday. Um, I've come deeper into the forest and further away from the M1 motorway, Sarsi Forest, Northamptonshire, walking my dog Daisy, who you can see behind me. We're on a road less travelled today. So um, yesterday I was asked to clarify by uh, one of the bookkeepers that I mentor what I meant by saying that transactions that are classed as Novat in Zero, or that would be T9 in Sage, what I meant by the fact that they don't appear on the VAT return. Uh, they were querying the difference between whether transactions should be done as tax exempt, uh, which is T2 in Sage, or zero rated which is T0 in SAGE, or whether they should be doing no VAT. And uh, in my view, if you're buying something for your business, whether it be for a non-VAT registered business, or um, if you're buying stuff from abroad, you should never use no VAT, because the HMRC still want you to report purchases on your VAT return in box seven, but there just isn't any VAT associated with it in box four. So what I mean by no VAT, and it won't appear on the VAT return, if you use that code, T9 and Sage, there, although when you run the VAT report at the end of the quarter, it will often list for you all the no VAT transactions that have been processed in that quarter on the report that you produce. There's actually no numbers on the VAT return that correspond to those transactions. So there has nothing gone into box seven on your VAT return. And these are things that are termed to be outside the scope. So when you're paying the wages, paying tax and NI, paying the VAT man, all of these transactions are outside the scope of VAT and they should all go in as no VAT T9. Whereas if you had used zero rated or exempt, both of them, appear in the same way on the VAT return. So nothing appears in box four, but the net amount of the purchase, and as there's no VAT, the whole amount of the purchase, will appear in box seven. So you are correctly reporting your purchases on your VAT return to the HMRC. So I'll stop there, make that just a quick little video that just tells you what you mean by no VAT not appearing on the VAT return and the difference between using that and using exempt or zero rated. So if you are a business owner doing your, your own bookkeeping and you don't really understand what's going on or you are an independent bookkeeper who uh, is you know working on your own taking on clients and you've just got something you want clarifying a little bit with your bookkeeping especially if it's in zero or sage 50 although i have been supporting people in business cloud and quickbooks recently as well then do get in touch you can go to blog.siliconbullet.com and see my previous blog posts you can uh, subscribe to this youtube channel silicon bullet or you can get in touch with me i'm alison mead you'll find me on linkedin and do get in touch and i'll see if i can help and answer your questions for you thank you bye